No, it's not gonna get you a job. No, I can't tell you what's on the exam. But before you click off, let me tell you how it can possibly be a stepping stone for your career. If you are a beginner trying to break into tech or you have some help desk experience and you're trying to qualify yourself for a higher paying position, whether it's within your current company or someplace else. Everything I'm sharing is coming from my experience from retail, social services, low paying jobs, and breaking into tech. Hopefully you can take something from it. The reason I took this, even though I said it can't give you a job, that shouldn't be your only motivation for going for a certification. You should be weighing a multitude of options and reasons and standards based on your personal circumstance. I'm currently employed, but I'm looking to elevate my career within tech. My first challenge was breaking into tech, but let's say you have some experience, but now you're trying to go to the next level. So that's what I'm going for. That was part of my motivation. There was an internal posting for a cybersecurity analyst. I thought since I don't have a dedicated cybersecurity title, what can be a way for me to showcase that I'm willing to learn, pick up the information, tools or the terminology, the jargon quickly. And if you're unsure whether you want to go into cybersecurity, getting a certification could be a great. However, these certifications are so expensive, especially if you're not making a lot of money to begin with. But I came across the ISC2 organization, the same organization that offers the infamous, famous S tier level CISSP certification. Now I'm nowhere near qualified for that one, but they're offering a fundamental level, entry level, you can say, certified in cybersecurity and it's free. So what better way to challenge yourself if this is even worth it for you than to go for a certification? I had two weeks to study for this. Now, mind you, that's on top of my other responsibilities. I couldn't study for this at work because it's not directly related to my job. So on top of my multitude of responsibilities was making time for this. I did about two hours a night. I went on to LinkedIn Learning and Udemy. The reason why I knew to go to these places was because I went on Reddit. If you're not on Reddit, it's a great resource. We have so many groups, it may be hard to navigate if you're not used to it. Based on the information I saw, these were the recommendations. I've studied for exams in the past and I failed. So if you know that feeling of if you even want to do this because you might fail, you don't want to go through the heartbreak, stressing out, trying to study. And I know that feeling. So a part of me was debating if I should even go through this when I don't have time as it is and stressed out as it is. And so I thought, you know what, what the heck? Even if I fail, maybe it'll tell me something about myself. Maybe I don't have what it takes, or maybe this is just too much at this time. So anyway, LinkedIn Learning has a free month promotion. I don't know if it depends on your location, but check that out. I went on Udemy during their usual sales and signed up for one or two practice tests. I also went on YouTube. They don't have any tests, but there are a couple of people there who has some great overviews about the exam. And I will put a link in all that details in the description and the comments so you can check that out. As far as preparing, if you decide to, is the fact that it takes more than a certification. The S tier, God tier, CISSP. Yes, recruiters will reach out to you if you have that top level certification, right? But it's your interview. It's the work you've done, it's your experience, it's how you've been networking with people, it's how you come across your presentation. If you are coming off unsure of yourself, like you don't know what you're doing, or arrogant, or if there's other things about your presentation that are giving off red flags, desperation, which is hard if you're out of work already, practice interviewing, you can use chat GPT to help you become more confident if you don't have anyone to do mock interviews with. When I took the LinkedIn exams, what I like about it is they give you a score for each domain 
you may have an overall passing score, which I believe is 71 or something like that, but they can be a subsection such as networking operations or disaster recovery that you scored lower on. And now you know what to focus on. So when you take the next practice exam, once I did that, I moved on to Udemy and my goal was to take one full practice exam every night. Even if I couldn't do any actual reading, it was to see where I am and if I'm improving on the areas that I was weak. I failed certifications in the past because I only relied on one source of information. And even going back to Reddit, I saw people who talked about how they failed. One of the common things I noticed was that they only used one or two resources. Using a variety to see how questions are asked, including YouTube. One particular guy, he does go through some questions. So you do have an opportunity to pause the video, reflect, come up with the answer and see if it matches the answer. In that particular video, the guy explained why the right answer was correct and why the wrong answers were incorrect. When you sign up, even though the exam voucher is free, the process to get the voucher and to sign up for the Pearson exam location is it's actually kind of frustrated, to be honest. I can see why someone may decide not to do it, just signing up. There's so many things to click on and sign up for, and then there's emails, and then confirm this, that, and the other. I was this close to like, is this even worth it? There is a membership fee. You don't have to pay the membership fee. They offer a community of people. You can go to their events, whether it's online or in-person, find something near you, and network with people in the community. And then they will email you information, help you stay on top of your game and just stay in the know. So I did decide to sign up for the $50 membership, but you don't have to pay the $50 until after you take the exam. You can still take the exam just to find out whether you pass or not, right? For your own knowledge, before you get to the place, they are strict about you having proper ID. Make sure your first, middle, and last name matches on all pieces of ID that you submit. When it comes time to study, there is multiple study information. Even on the ISC2 website, they have free study guides. I suggest going through their own glossary of the terms. They also have a practice, two practice exams. and. That's just free resources. So if you're really trying to keep this free, you're not trying to come out of pocket for nothing, the ISC2 and LinkedIn Learning free trial and YouTube will be your best bet. If you don't mind spending a little money, then tack on a Udemy, but wait until they have a sale when the classes are only like 15 bucks. Do not spend $80 on the Udemy course. The difficulty of the exam, I would say, because I have some experience in tech, I was familiar with some terms, processes, just being in the building, being in the IT department and paying attention overall to how things function and work. I somewhat had an understanding, but they do ask the questions in a certain way that you really have to um, think, you really have to demonstrate your knowledge of the fundamentals. And you may need to gloss over the network fundamentals for Net Plus or maybe Sec Plus that LinkedIn Learning also has for Comsha preparation material. During that LinkedIn Learning uh, free trial, you have access to all of the information, all of the practice exams for other certifications. So if you find yourself really struggling with the networking part, you can look for just the networking courses and practice exams for Comsha Net Plus to really dive more into that. We definitely want to figure out what other information, what other courses are available on LinkedIn Learning to give you some lab work. Maybe the Google Security Professional. You may have heard about it, maybe not, but there's labs involved with that. I am thinking about signing up for that because I definitely want some more hands-on experience on the security side. And I heard that you will receive a discount up to 30% on the Security Plus through Comsha if you sign up for the Google class. Let me know if you've gone through that. Have you been using ChatGPT? You can use this to study by having it ask you some questions. If you need more practice, copy and paste or print a PDF of the domains and tell it based off the domains, based off 
of this description, the website information to give you some questions and you can practice with that as well. So tell me what you've been doing and what questions you have for me that you want me to answer.